Hello to our New Channel 9 Facebook viewers. I'm joined this morning by Dr. Petra Pauly of Victory Sports Medicine, as well as some of his patients, and Missy, who is part of his staff at Victory Sports Medicine, and Dr. P. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so we were talking briefly this morning on Bridge Street about this MLS laser therapy process. So first and foremost, tell us a little bit about what MLS actually means sure. and what you all are doing with this. Absolutely. So MLS stands for multi-wave lock system. Mm -hmm. So most lasers have one wavelength. There's a range between 600 and 1200 nanometers of light wavelength. It's not visible light, it's, it's infrared red light. Mm -hmm. So you can't see it, um, but your cells can see it. So it penetrates into the tissues and helps heal. So okay. there's a certain range that's therapeutic in humans or horses like we talked about, or yeah. animals, a lot of veterinarians have it. So most lasers have one wavelength and it works, but this particular laser has two wavelengths. So it's a patented system so it has multiple wavelengths, two wavelengths, and if we want to get technical, there's a 905 nanometer, and that's more for pain control, and there's an oh. 808 nanometer, which is more for anti-inflammatory and healing. Okay. They both do both, but the 905 is better for pain, the 808 is better for you know, treating inflammation and helping healing. Okay. So the protocols reflect that. If someone comes in and they're in a lot of pain, you can we'll, adjust we'll it. have the 905, we'll have a protocol where the 905 is, is more prominent than the 808. So the, they're locked together, it's patented, but we can adjust that a little bit. Okay. So no other system has that. And you also have, we should also mention to our Facebook viewers, if you all have questions for Dr. Petra Pauly, feel free to uh, send them in as we're talking here and hopefully he can answer them for you. Gail here is one of your patients. She was your first patient with this MLS Correct. laser, right? Um, Gail, you had multiple knee surgeries before yep. coming to see Dr. P? Yep, I've had two. Okay. Yep. One, one removed a bone chip and the other one was a lateral release um, on my kneecap. Sounds painful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so how is this therapy, can we see a little bit, Missy, of how this therapy can actually right. help and work? Sure. The biggest question I'm thinking of, Dr. P, is like, how does a laser, like something like this, how does it actually help? Cause you can't. Right. You, so, well, think of think of this. Uh, the analogy. So, we've had a terrible winter, correct? Yeah. <laughs> right. And then it snowed. You know, even last weekend. So then the other day it was sunny. It was yeah. beautiful weather. How'd you feel when you went outside? Fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> That's how your cells feel when they experience this light energy. So Great it's just analogy. it's basically photons of light. Light. That we have to wear. Oh our yes, we have to wear goggles. Our okay. Goggles for this. Yep. You okay. All right. Okay. As long as you're five feet away, you're okay. Okay. But we'll put the goggles on. Oh, Nick's got So okay. the way the way it works is, uh, if I yeah, you, if can, you don't mind you can move. me coming yep. over here. Yep. So this is a robotic ultra head right here. This okay. actually has three laser diodes in it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of in a triangular uh, array, and those three diodes each emit a laser beam mm -hmm. and that laser beam concentrates eight inches away so that's why this is eight inches away the nice thing is it doesn't have to touch a patient if they're in pain okay. so that's the robotic part of it and there's certain settings for this so if, let's say she came in and she was in a lot of pain we might have it set at 2,000 Hertz which is uh, the e energy that's going in mm -hmm. the other nice thing is a lot of laser systems this is the only robotic one that I know of a lot of laser systems that like veterinarians have or podiatrists or chiropractors, they work. They're class three lasers, and I'll go through the classes in a minute. Okay. But most of them are hand, a handpiece like this. So we have both. So this is the robotic part that's going to deliver a certain dosage of light energy, mm -hmm. just like a dosage of a pill that you take. There's, we calculate the, it's called joules per centimeter squared. Mm -hmm. So it calculates how much energy is going to go in the area, and your cells absorb it. So what it does is it stimulates the mitochondrion in your cells. The mitochondrion are the, the powerhouses of the cell. Taking so me back to science. Exactly, <laughs> biology 101. So it's uh, there's actually some questions on. Oh, sure. great. Does, does this help with arthritis? Absolutely. And then oh. uh, um, somebody asked, I've had RSD since 2004. Could this help relieve some pain? Right, that's a great question. So it, do, it can help RSD. RSD is tricky to deal with no matter how you deal with it. Usually with RSD, because people are so, basically what RSD is, is called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. It's a painful nerve reaction that occurs after an injury or a mm -hmm. surgery where the body kind of overreacts. So your sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight nervous system. So if a lion came in the room and was going to eat us, we're either going to run or we're going to fight it. I'm going to run. But anyway, <laughs> your sympathetic nervous system increases blood flow to the, to the extremity so you can get out of there. So basically what it does is, if you have an injury, you're going to have increased blood flow go to the air to help heal. It's going to become more sensitive 
purposely because your body's trying to protect you from re-injuring that area. Well, in certain people, that doesn't turn off. So that RSD doesn't turn off and they end up being very hypersensitive. So the, my point is, we would start with much lower settings. We wouldn't start with 2,000 hertz. We might start with 700. We would start much lower and maybe lower treatment times and gradually work that patient up. But it can help RSD. RSD is tricky to deal with. Um, if you, if you over-treat, it can sometimes make the symptoms get a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. But it, it definitely can work for RSD as well. And it works for arthritis quite often. Okay, another question. With chronic issues like arthritis, do treatments ever stop? Like, so is it continuous treatment? And that's a great, that's a great uh, question as well. So we've had this uh, laser for less than a year. Um, we, the, the company uh, that's based in Chicago, the doctor and his staff who basically wrote the book on all the these protocols, mm -hmm. um, these are all scientific good. protocols yeah. based mm -hmm. on uh, experience okay. and science, uh, that company's been doing this for six years. So the, the doctor tells a story of how he treated somebody and they had bone-on-bone -bone arthritis in their knees and they were told they needed a knee replacement. Mm -hmm. That patient came in, he treated him, 12 treatments, and he still sees him five years later and he hasn't needed any more treatments. Okay. So it can have long-lasting effects. Other people, it, you know, just like anything, it may not, it, there's some people it doesn't work on, but I'd say 75 to 90 percent of people you're going to get a positive result from right. and it can be very long-lasting. Other people, you might want to do, if you have a really chronic problem, you might want to do one treatment every 30 days, a maintenance dose. Okay, what about um, fibromyalgia? Can it help with that? Yeah, it can. It's a little, that's a little more hard, difficult because fibromyalgia usually affects the entire body. All so right. you can't just, people always ask, can you just put me underneath this thing and just <laughs> let the, laser, let all laser all everything. The <laughs> so right. your body can only accept a certain amount of laser energy or energy per day. Right. So you, if it was, if you were going to treat fibromyalgia, which is, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, so I'm dealing more with like sprains and strains and post-surgery things. So I don't see that as much, right. but it can be treated. If you were going to treat it, you have to start really slow treat whatever area is bothering the most and then move around. It would be a very long process, but it can work for it. But it can be long and time consuming for something like that. Somebody has a question about insurance. Is this covered by insurance? Yeah, that's one of the most common questions yeah. we get. It's not covered by insurance. All right. uh, it's been, like I said, cleared by the FDA since 2009. There's no known side effects. And like I said earlier on the show, the treatments start as low as $60 per treatment. Right, and depending on, so how many treatments, I, I guess it's dependent on the patient. You have Nick here who um, only needed a few versus Gail who needed multiple, right? Right, so based on the science and experience, usually for a chronic problem, problem that's been going on for months or years, it's, it's usually going to be 12. You're going to okay. start with 12. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the dose. It's just like you have an antibiotic for seven days or 10 days, whatever, based on that drug and based on the person's problem, you treat them with a certain amount of time. Okay. With an acute injury, an injury that's just happened recently, uh -huh. most people respond after six, but some people still need more than that. It depends on the person. Okay. Uh, somebody's asking, they ha Ed is saying he has chronic pain in his lower extremities, mainly down a lower leg into his foot but the problem seems to come from his lower back. He says, can this be used on your spine? Yeah, I was just going to say that sounds like the pain that's, that's coming all the way down the leg is probably coming from his back or right. her back, and that uh, we, we definitely treat backs and necks, so you can treat that. As a matter of fact, you treat the back, and then Missy would use the hand probe to trace the nerve down, the sciatic nerve down, yeah. to try to treat the nerve. It's, it's um, very good for helping nerves regenerate and um, for... Uh, helping nerve pain, okay. but again, it takes it takes time. It's right. going to take some time. Um, Mayor is asking, is it safe with people with kidney problems? Yeah, it it should be fine with somebody who has a kidney problem. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to treat right over the kidney a anyway. Uh, so if you're if you have a kidney problem and we're going to treat your knee, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, all right. Uh, so far, those are the questions. And there, Colleen is asking, will this ever? Will the insurance ever cover, you know, will this be something that you think insurance will cover in the I future? I have no idea. I know, it's hard. Yeah, it's a, that's a hard question, know. you know. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, those are the questions so far. Uh, Gail, how is it feeling? How does it feel? I, I don't feel a thing. You don't feel so a thing? So that was a treatment nope. right there. What was that, 15 minutes, 10 minutes? That was six minutes on her. Six minutes. Yeah, so usually we would do, we, you might do the front of the knee. Yep. Then you might do the back of the knee. She okay. might lay on her, on her belly, and we do the other ha uh, half of the knee for six minutes so that the, it goes two and a quarter inches that way we're getting the entire knee. 
All right. Front and back. Okay. And you can't, afterwards, what do you feel? Or can you describe what it's like? Do you have like anything that hurts? You said your elbow hurts. Uh, my we elbow does hurt, yeah. Where's it hurt? <laughs> yeah. So I fell with my, uh, with my son when I was nine months pregnant, and I landed, and I didn't break it, but it still gives me pain right here. Yeah. Right on the Yeah, on right, the side. like under here. So when I... This is interesting. Okay, Dr. P. Is it turn? Yeah, right there. No, no, no. no right. On the elbow. Right there? Yeah, right there and right, right, right there. So right there is yeah. kind of more like your tennis elbow. I know you didn't right, right. play playing tennis, but... But it's on the bone, too. Like, not sure. there. Okay. Like right, yeah, right there. Right on that bone. Yeah. And you yeah. landed right on that bone. Yeah. Yeah, so usually we wouldn't start treating someone just by not knowing exactly what was going on. We would do um, an evaluation. Right. So well, the patient would come in, we would uh, evaluate them and probably get an x-ray, make sure there's not a fracture there. Right. Even if there is a fracture, you still could treat it, but we would want to know okay. what, the, what the injury was. All right. But that's a very common problem. So that's something that you would say, Absolutely. okay, come in and yeah. I could do a few Absolutely. treatments. And we should also mention something similar is Nick's case, right? Football player, you're a football player at Skinny Atlas. Yes. And so you fell during one of it was, wasn't the championship game semi-final okay i'm not a huge he got, sports yeah, he got tackled <laughs> and, uh, school his ankle. <laughs> right okay and so how many treatments did you have i had six six treatments yeah. and how do you feel today uh, it feels fine the ankle's fine you were able yeah. to play he was able to play what how many days six later days six later days later championship yeah. Game. yeah so these sort of treatments can help sorry i'm trying to do two things at once here um it's somebody's asking is there a benefit for injuries like amputation to relieve post-surgical pain yeah these are all these <laughs> are the, the, tu the tough questions are yeah. coming the things that i don't see as often but that's a great question i'm sure it could be used for that um it, in other words there it can help nerve pain and it sounds like that person might be having phantom pain or nerve pain if it's phantom pain where they had an amputation and it feels like they can still feel their let's say they got an amputation at their knee mm -hmm. and they can still feel their foot which okay. is phantom pain even though the foot's not there yeah. it may not make that go away but if it's pain pain just mm -hmm. it hurts right in that spot a lot of times it can it can help with that uh, now, okay, before we're going to wrap up here, people who are interested, do they just call your office directly? Absolutely. Okay, and can you tell me? 315-685-7544. They can check out our website, victorysportsmedicine.com, but 315-685-7544 is the phone number. There we go. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, thank you. and uh, tune in weekdays here at News Channel 9. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Great, Great job, thank you. guys. Yeah,